Okay, so before we look at the system in action and how it all works, let's just have a look at some of the information concerning the uh, system. So the facility is an extension for mobilized sites and it will add an upload and download facility to your mobilize uh, site for users. The actual facility was originally or designed primarily uh, as an add-on for the Microsoft Mobilize membership systems and fanbook system templates um, because it integrates nicely with the admin control panel control and the members uh, down, uh, members pages where you can restrict the downloads to members only. However, it can be added to any Mobilize site, but the add, load, add up and upload files panel, it is recommended that you add that to a protected page so only your selected users can actually upload. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, the system requirements. It needs Mobilize 3 or 4 works best with the three theme um, uh, or any of the three themes um, but it does work with four themes as well it requires a PHP enabled server version 5.4 or later if possible the F info open for the file MIME type or the MIME content type functions should be enabled on the uh, server although that is optional if they are enabled then the system will check the file name or the file extension to the MIME type of the file to make sure that the user is updated, uploading the correct type of file so if they try to upload a JPEG file um, or a JPEG extension but it's actually an EXE file then it will reject it so the, the MIME type must match the, the uh, file extension that prevents them update, uploading a virus to your um, system uh, disguised as a JPEG. If, if, uh, those two, if either of those two functions aren't available then it will do a more um, basic check to make sure they're uploading the right type of file. Um, the Mobilize code editor is not required, but it is recommended as it's uh, you can then customize some of the CSS. Um, a protected page is recommended for the upload panel, and you will require an existing or one new MySQL database. Um, and the PHP must have the uh, MySQLi extension, um, so you can use any existing database. And the supported file types for uploads are images, JPEG, PNG, and GIF, Word documents, doc and docx, Excel documents, XLS, XLSX, and CSV, PDF files, and plain text files. So you can and you can select any of those as being allowed. So if you only want them to upload images, then you can disallow Word documents, Excel documents, PDF files, and plain text files just at the click of a button. Um, and each type, as I said, each type can be made allowed or not. And if they're not, then they will be rejected. Okay, other options. You can set an upload size limit, anything from 2 megabit, megabyte to 40 megabyte, but that will be subject to your server limits. Um, but there's details in the guide on how on most servers you can increase the server limit. Most servers uh, uh, or most hosts set their servers to a maximum upload of 2 megabit, uh, megabyte um, but uh, you can usually change that with a dot user in e-file up, up to 40. 40 is about the maximum recommended otherwise you'll find that the uploads will take too long and may cause script timeouts. You can show or hide the delete button on the upload panel which again is detailed in the guide. Um, you can show the title and and or text. Um, again these are all at the click of a button. The top and bottom padding as you normally would in uh, Mobilize, the background image color um, and oh, sorry the background image or color 
um, parallax and overlay are all supported by the panels. In addition, um, you've got the selectable load file types, uh, the selectable upload size limit, the automatic data database table creation. So if the database table uh, will be created automatically the first time you uh, go to the upload screen. Um, you can add the, uh, the name and description for files. Um, there's an auto thumbnail preview of images in the view panel, uh, view download panel. Uh, it records the number of views and downloads so uh, you can see how many times your files have been viewed or downloaded. Um, it forces the downloads of files when download is selected. So if they select to download a PDF, instead of it displaying it in the browser if there's a ActiveX control there, it will force it to be downloaded rather than viewed. Um, so uh, same with images and uh, Word documents. Um, all the required files and libraries are automatically added to the relevant pages when you add the panel to your page and all the necessary files are added in the assets folder uh, under their own exclusive directories or folders. Now we will. We'll first of all look at the final features which are no HTML or PHP coding knowledge required. Edit or add just one additional file which is supplied to connect to the database. Uh, and it comes with a comprehensive user guide and you can add it to any Mobilize site. Okay so let's now have a look at how it actually works and uh, there'll be a second video which shows you how to install. Okay so here's how it works. There's your uh, add file. You just simply add a, add a, a give a name for the file so we'll call this one demonstration PDF. We browse to the file. Uh, let's find a PDF. browse the PDF and we enter a description for the PDF and you can put you know, as much as you like there and then we click add the files uploaded it checks to make sure it's the right MIME type and the right extension and it's within the upload limit. So the file has been uploaded and now it's been added to the list of files below. And the delete button will delete the record for the database and also the file. Okay, so once we've uploaded our files and we can add in subtract files whenever we like, um, the download view page that uh, your users would see looks a little bit like this obviously you can change the background etc so you get details of the file the file's name the description of the file when it was added and then the download button and the view button and as you can see if it's got an if it's an image then you'll get a preview of the image um, on the right hand side okay so if we view the file, it will open it in our browser with the ActiveX control that corresponds to that uh, file type. Um, and if we click the download button, 
it will force it to be downloaded and you'll get the normal download file it adds copyright to the front of the file name and you'll see it's time stamped with the time since the epoch um, so that every file name is unique and it gives you the file size you'll also note that it doesn't show you where the file is um, so that protects your downloads folder okay so uh, let's just uh, save that and then it downloads as normal uh, if it's an image file of course again you'll get a preview of the image There's, and the download works exactly the same way it will force the download and you can then save your download as normal and if there's loads of files you'll get uh, page numbers here so you can scan through the pages of files available so that's how it all works this is all generated fully automatically if we now go back to the upload page you'll see the admin can see how many times the file has been downloaded and how many times the file has been viewed so uh, that can be quite useful to see whether the file um, needs to be there or not because if nobody's downloading it or viewing it then perhaps that doesn't need to be on your site so you can then delete it uh, if it's downloaded a lot of times then you probably want to keep it okay so that's how it all works and so we'll keep an eye for the next video which will be coming very shortly which shows you how you add it to your Mobilize site which is very very simple okay have fun and enjoy